Daisy's voice is unmistakable. Hi, I'm Daisy. Yes, thank you, Daisy. But this voice that you associate with the character is actually just one of many. You see, for about 10 years, Nintendo could not figure out how they wanted Princess Daisy to sound. And if you take a listen to the games that came out during that era, you can hear Nintendo experimenting with Daisy's voice. Here we go. I got it. Oh no! So in this video, I want to answer the question of why doesn't Daisy's voice sound like it used to? So, Daisy first appeared in the game Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Inside the game itself, she was just a little block of black and white pixels, but in the game's manual, her character design was a little more fleshed out. Very, uh, yellow. <laughs> As for her voice though, the Game Boy just made beeps and boops, so Daisy couldn't exactly speak. A few years later, she did get a voice of sorts, but it wasn't in a game, it was in a song. You see, in 1993, an album was released in Japan called Super Mario Compact Disco. Although it was exclusive to Japan, the musicians behind it were British. Uh, this is what Mario sounds like, for instance. Yo, yo. yo. Check this out, you're in tune with Radio Compact Disco. I'm MC Mario, super fine with a jump and a spin. Now, one of the songs on this album is called Save Me With Your Charm. That title is actually cleverer than it sounds. The song is a remix of the Save theme from Mario Paint. Get it? Save? Anyway, uh, the song is narrated by none other than Princess Daisy herself. Take a listen. Now, for a long time, we could only speculate who that mysterious voice behind Princess Daisy actually was. But in 2020, a 35th anniversary edition of the album was re-released, which finally credits Daisy's voice. A Eurodance rapper called Melissa Beckford. Now, Beckford's Daisy rap has become iconic and has stuck around a lot longer than anyone at the time might have expected even if, technically, Nintendo didn't have a lot of involvement in the process. But it wasn't until the year 2000 that Nintendo finally gave Daisy an official voice. Well, a sort of Nintendo. Another game developer, Camelot, was working on the game Mario Tennis for the Nintendo 64. At the time, hardly anyone even remembered the character of Princess Daisy. She had appeared in Mario Land years ago, and then in one NES game since then. But after that, she'd been forgotten. But then, around the year 2000, Camelot was working on their tennis game, and they were struggling to think of enough characters to fill out the roster so they started getting desperate. What about that Princess Daisy person on the back of an NES game they had lying around on their desk, they thought. And that is how Daisy ended up in Mario Tennis. The next stage was for her voice to be cast. So in America, Nintendo started holding auditions for actors to play the various characters featured in Mario Tennis. They already had their Princess Peach. Just one year ago, they had cast Jen Taylor in the role, and she returned for Mario Tennis. But as for the other, more obscure princess, Daisy, they didn't have a voice, so they started holding auditions. And before long, they found the perfect person to play Daisy, Kate Fleming. Fleming was an actress, artist, singer, voice actress, and an award-winning audiobook narrator too. And in early 2000, she showed up at the recording studio and recorded various voice lines for Princess Daisy. Except, if you go on the Super Mario wiki, the voice for Daisy is credited to someone else entirely. Jessica Chisholm. Wikipedia says the same thing. Jessica Chisholm. Even Jessica Chisholm's own website says she was the voice of Princess Daisy. But if you ask her about the role, she'll tell you this. I don't think I should be credited as Princess Daisy. That sounds like a mistake. I would definitely give credits for Princess Peach to Jen Taylor and Kate Fleming as Princess Daisy. They were cast originally as those roles and it might have been an accident that our voices were mixed up. 
That was from two years ago on Tumblr. Jessica Chisholm explained that as far as she remembered, she was not cast as Princess Daisy. It was Kate Fleming instead. Still, she wasn't 100% sure, so someone sent her the audio files from the game. And her response was, yes, I can confirm that that is Kate Fleming. However, Jessica Chisholm did say that a couple of Daisy's voice lines might have been pinched from one of the other voice performances. Apparently, Nintendo mixed and matched bits and pieces from the various voice recordings, so there might have been a few Daisy lines recorded by Jessica Chisholm, or even one of the game's other voice actresses. Just take a listen. Here we go! Oh no! Alright! Oh thank you! Thank you all! Yahoo! Tragically, we can't ask Kate Fleming for confirmation about any of this, or details about the role, because in 2006, she passed away when her underground recording studio was flooded. But as a result of her death, her partner, who was a woman, went on to advocate for greater LGBT rights in the United States, and has made a huge difference over the past 15 years. Uh, Kate Fleming was 41 years old when she passed away. Returning to Daisy then, if Jessica Chisholm herself says that Kate Fleming provided Daisy's voice, then that is the best confirmation we're going to get. When it comes to Daisy's voice, however, Mario Tennis is only the beginning. You see, later that very year, perhaps thanks to her inclusion in Mario Tennis, Princess Daisy was added to the roster of the new Mario Party game, Mario Party 3. However, rather than reusing the voice clips from Mario Tennis, Nintendo decided to have a whole new set of sounds recorded. Maybe it's because the sounds they had lying around were just too tennisy and didn't fit well with Mario Party's gameplay. I have no idea. Anyway, Nintendo of America took charge of having new Daisy voice clips recorded. Instead of casting and hiring a specific person to play Daisy, however, Nintendo decided to instead just ask one of their other voice actors to take on Daisy's role as an extra job of sorts. Which is how, in the year 2000, Jen Taylor, the voice actress for Peach, entered the recording studio to record a whole new set of voice clips for a completely different character, Princess Daisy. Now, there's always a risk when one person plays multiple characters of those characters sounding too similar, so Jen Taylor made sure to give her Daisy voice a very distinctive sound. She certainly doesn't sound like Peach, that's for sure. Take a listen. Good choice! Yay! I got it! Oh, I lost! I'm the best! So, Jen Taylor's Daisy voice also appears in Mario Party 4 and 5 over the next two years. However, in 2003, things changed once more. Again, it started not with Nintendo, but instead with Camelot. The company was developing a sequel to Mario Golf for the GameCube, and Princess Daisy was set to appear as one of the playable characters. Also playable were two non-Mario characters, Neil and Ella. These were just human beings, regular people who liked to play golf. So, along with hiring a new voice for Princess Daisy, the team also needed to find people to record the voices for Neil and Ella. Enter voice actress Deanna Mustard. Mustard auditioned to play Ella, the enthusiastic golfer. She didn't end up getting the role. However, Nintendo liked her voice enough that she was offered the role of Daisy instead. As she explained, I auditioned for the voice of a young golf enthusiast. I did not get the part of the young enthusiast, but I was invited to play the part of Princess Daisy. And so Mustard entered the recording studio, recorded her lines, and a few months later, the world was introduced to the new voice of Princess Daisy. Take a listen. Mm-hmm. Yes! Ah! Hit it! Watch where you send it! You can do this, I just know it! Oh no! Diona Mustard did a 180 with Daisy's voice. While Jen Taylor had played the character as cute and innocent, Mustard made her energetic, sassy, and even a bit sarcastic. That was just sports games, though. Daisy's new voice was brought front and centre when Diana Mustard, and Daisy, of course, appeared in Mario Kart Double Dash. This is where we get a certain iconic soundbite. Hi, I'm Daisy! Hi, I'm Daisy! Hi, I'm Daisy! 
Now, over the two decades that followed her casting, Mustard's voice for Princess Daisy has remained remarkably consistent. Here's what she sounds like in 2019's Mario Kart Tour. And with Daisy finally becoming a playable character in the next mainline Mario platformer, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, it seems safe to assume that we'll be hearing even more from everyone's favourite underdog princess. Will she still be voiced by Deanna Mustard? We shall have to wait and see. So, that's why Daisy doesn't sound like she used to. She started out with 8-bit beeps, and then for one game only she was voiced by Kate Fleming, then Peach's voice actress took on the role as an extra voice. And then finally, Daisy was given the voice we know and love today, thanks to Deanna Mustard. Mustard's voice is really great for Daisy, but I'm afraid there's one voice I prefer to hers. Yo, this is Princess Daisy. You're listening to Super Mario Compact Disco. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Hey, thanks for watching! Uh, if you're interested in learning about some other Nintendo character voices and why they've not exactly been consistent, then check out my videos on Peach and Luigi. I've got more linked in the description too. And I'll see you next week! Bye!